Michelle, for those of us who uh, divide our interest between the airplanes we love and the dogs we love, this is an idea when you pass by, you just kind of go, whoa, wait a second. Tell us what Mutt Muffs are. Mutt Muffs are hearing protection for dogs. And although our primary uh, market is aviation, because pilots just don't need to be told how loud their airplane is. They already know it. And dogs have very sensitive hearing, so it was just, it, it was just such a match. I mean, when I started flying with my dog, it just killed me knowing how loud it was. So I started this internet quest to find something and could not. How much testing did you do? What, uh, what did you do to develop pro a product like this? Well, I started, like a lot of people, thinking I could just make something homemade for my dog, and everything I did was ugly and didn't work. So I actually had to bring in some actual engineering talent on this, and I have a friend who's also a pilot, so I didn't think he'd laugh at me too bad. <laughs> and he did all the prototyping and the design and the workings like that. What I have is anecdotal evidence. I mean, the dog, it's such a remarkable difference in his behavior in the plane, so I know it's helping. And based on the materials used and assuming a good fit, my engineer estimated a decibel reduction of between 21 and 24 which is what your standard people headset is going to give you. Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. How do you keep a mutt muff on a dog with a personality that says, uh-uh, not me? Truly, the dog makes his own determination that life was so much better when I didn't, you know, before I knocked these off, you know. Put the dog in the plane, muff up the dog, blast off, and it just won't take long, and he will get them off. And then the dog looks up and goes, oh, you know, holy mother, <laughs> put them back on. And usually one or two times and the dog doesn't want to take them off anymore. Can you show me how you uh, put something like this on your dog? Absolutely. The top straps are very adjustable. You can expand them for those big blockheads. Most folks have to adjust them inward, make them a little smaller. And once you get the top adjusted, you don't have to mess with that anymore. And you just plunk them on the dog and that feeds through a D-ring and, and cinches back up and uh, cinches right on itself. So they're highly adjustable because dogs are so different. <laughs> you, you should have seen us trying to accommodate German Shepherd ears and, you know, Chihuahuas. <laughs> it just ran the whole gamut. So it was, it was a challenge to come up with a product that worked for most dogs. So many people have asked me, and, you know, people have been buying these for their cats for, since we've been in business, and I never got any real feedback. So all I could tell customers was that they fit a cat, but whether or not Kitty wears it is pretty much between you and Kitty. But apparently the cats, you know, some have the same sense of humor it takes you know, to don some mutt muffs and get in an airplane and, you know, not wreak mayhem. <laughs> Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. I see you've got a number of sizes for uh, different sizes and configurations of dogs or cats as the case may be? Dogs or cats, yes, we have five sizes ranging from the extra small, which is for the under 10 pound crowd. This is the little Yorkie and Chihuahua size. Um, small, medium, large, and then we go clear up to extra large, which is for your, you know, Ooh. over 100 pounds. This is your St. Bernard, Bull Mastiff, some of the larger labs. What kind of feedback are you getting from owners? Overwhelmingly positive. I mean, we accept a return back for any reason. So if your dog won't wear them, oops, send it back. You know, I'll refund your money. Um, but our returns are so slight. You know, it's quite amazing. It, you know, it amazes me to this day that so many dogs will tolerate it. But when you think about how loud and how uncomfortable mm -hmm. that has to be for an animal whose hearing is right. way more sensitive than ours, it's 
the, the dog finds out for himself that he likes to wear them. I thank you much. What an interesting idea. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Mada. Hello, Father. I will tell you about my trauma. I am really not a lame brain. I just get a headache when I'm in the airplane. I am sorry. I chewed the sofa. And I peed on that rug from Persia. I am really a very good dog. And one day soon I'll catch that stupid groundhog. I like running. I like playing. I like eating. I like barking. I like my toys and my other stuff. But I'll love you so much more if you buy mutt-mutts.